Well, we did have the sunshine out there today and it did get a little bit warmer tomorrow being your Friday. Things are looking pretty good, except they're going to be on the warm side. As a matter of fact, uh, with the um, amount of wind out of the south that we're going to get, we're probably going to see almost a 90 degree temperature. Now back uh, to the east coast. Remember that cloud cover that was over us last couple of days? Where is it now? It's over Florida. That's what they're getting uh, because that's where they got the big uh, thunderstorms earlier today. They were under that tornado watch that ru ruled, rolled through the Tampa area, uh, but uh, their activity is uh, going to be fairly strong tonight. They're probably looking at an initial one to two inches after having already three and four inches of rain. Now, as far as we're concerned, all of that is pretty much gone out of our picture. <clears throat> we don't have to worry about that. As a matter of fact, for the next couple, for the next day, we'll be just on the warm side of things until our little frontal system comes down into Texas and gives us a nice north wind. Right now, it looks like it may trigger a few little light showers north of us. This would be on Friday night, but on Saturday morning, it all blows through here, and then all of a sudden, we've got you know, I mean, I don't want to oversell it, but it's going to be a spectacular weekend. Low temperatures uh, getting into the 50s, daytime highs in the mid upper 70s, almost 80 maybe, uh, but abundant sunshine and some very pleasant weather. Now on Saturday, I wanted to show you what we're continuing to talk about the eclipse. What happens is that the sun, of course, it's not to scale. The sun's really much larger. The moon gets between us and the sun. So in this little spot right here on the Earth, we're going to be looking at the sun around the moon. You get, you get the idea where the totality is going to be. And, and that's a very rare occurrence that it comes right over our homes. So uh, it's going to be right on top of us between 11 a.m. and noontime on Saturday. I'm telling you, a lot of people are going to be out there watching. And that's what we got to remind everybody. Unless you have the glasses that have the right film, if you have welder's glasses, it has to be a number 13, okay? Uh, but uh, at the end of the show, I'm going to show you some very simple, very cheap ingredients that you can make a solar uh, viewer uh, and not have to worry about, you know, looking at the sun because it is going to be very intense. This is not a lunar eclipse. This is a solar eclipse. So we'll have more of that coming up. Here's the next big storm. This is the winter storm already producing heavy snows in the Rockies. And here's the front I was telling you about. It's going to be rolling uh, through Texas on Friday and passing our area probably around midnight so that by Saturday morning, that's when you're going to feel all the good stuff coming through the region. If you get a chance, oh, and there's the path of totality. This is where uh, this green line is where the um, we're going to see the best uh, what they call the ring of fire, basically the sun around the edges of the moon. It's really an optical illusion. I mean, it's not anything earth shattering, but it is fairly unique that you get to see it. Uh, here's for fishing. Uh, we've got a sunrise at 727. We've got sun down at 659 before seven o'clock. Think about that. Uh, it's going to be very nice on Friday. Saturday's going to be a little breezier out of that northwest wind. Looking for a high of 90 tomorrow in Port Lavaca. Looking for a high of 91 in the Cuero area. And here's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at that frontal system after the football games. Saturday morning, breezy and cooler. Nighttime lows getting down into the 50s. Daytimes only in the upper 70s. That's your seven-day forecast. Want to remind everybody we do have a QR code. Love for you to scan that and put Crossroads today on your phone. James, cut